there. I'm Old Lady Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. Well, I'll give you a hint. They used to just call me Gibson. I hope you can figure out the rest. I don't mind, to be honest. Living long is a real accomplishment these days. Remains to be seen if I end up dying peaceful in my bed. Take care now.
Howdy, little lady. My story's a long one, friend, and I can't say as it's all that interesting. Well, I was born in a little town out Montana way. Me and Ma didn't have much, ever since my pa up and left. That he did. Never did know why. Ma always said he was a real mysterious fella, even when he was with her. Like he was a stranger sometimes. Maybe. Maybe I just never felt like I belonged back home. It sure wasn't easy. Ma worked her fingers to the bone to make sure we had enough to survive. And I worked the coal mines from when I was 15. After Ma died, I guess I wanted to find my pa and get some answers from him. Been out here looking ever since, but he ain't an easy man to find. Can't say as I really know. Maybe I'll just ask him why. Maybe I'll punch him right in the mouth. Hell, the more I talk about it, the more the whole damn thing sounds like a dumb idea. Maybe I should. Don't suppose you know any place a fella with a guitar might find a job, huh? Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Oh, this old thing? Why, thanks, friend. This here guitar is just about the only thing my daddy left me. Just about my whole life, ever since my daddy left Ma and me and went off to roam the wastes. So long, friend.
You here to pay your respects to? It commemorates the Battle of Hoover Dam. The Rangers lured the best of Caesar's Legion into Boulder City, then blew the whole town up. The NCR still lost a bunch of troops in the fighting, though. My older brother sacrificed himself, so they could evacuate some of the wounded. Don't worry about it. Camp McCarran, but I'm on leave at the moment, heading back to California to see my folks. I'm supposed to join up with a caravan that's heading that way up at the 188, but they're not due to arrive for a while yet. Bye. A customer. Not many people come into Boulder City these days. Most of the town is rubble, destroyed during the Battle of Hoover Dam. And the only other thing around here is the concrete mixing yard. The NCR has been constructing bunkers up and down the river. From what I've heard, it's a little late for that. Travelers over at the 188, just up the road, said that the Legion has overrun a couple of towns to the south. Most of the limestone comes from Quarry Junction out west, but I hear some death claws overran the quarry. With no work to be had, all the workers around here have wandered off. I'm the only one left in town. Come back real soon. We've got a situation with some great cons right now. The Brass of McCarran has ordered me to lock down the ruins until it's been resolved. One of my patrols was on its way back from Novak when it came under fire from the great cons. They radioed for reinforcements, but instead of waiting for us, they chased the cons into the ruins where they were caught in a crossfire. No deaths, but not all the squad got out. The cons have Private Ackerman and Private Gilbert as hostages. Once the great cons have been killed or captured, you're welcome to retrieve any property they've taken from you. Acceptable casualties, I've been told. I don't like it, but the brass has their reasons. Normally I'd turn you down since I have no idea who you are, but considering that the hostages are as good as dead when we attack, all right, I'm going to give you a chance to talk to the Great Khans. Their leader is a man named Jessup. If we hear shooting, we'll be coming in, but it'll probably be too late for you. Good luck. What the hell? You're that courier Benny wasted back in Good Springs. You're supposed to be dead. Yeah, uh, about that. Don't have it. Benny stole it right before he stabbed us in the back. 
He's probably back at the strip by now, laughing at me. Yeah? On what? He's one of the chairmen, big shots that run the Topps Casino in New Vegas. A friend from the city contacted me with info on a big job. I should have known that the caps were too good to be true, but there was still no way I could pass up the chance. It's just a big fancy poker chip as far as I know. Don't know why anyone would make one out of platinum though. He's a snake, that's why. He owed us the rest of the pay for the job, so maybe he didn't want to pay up. Fine. What's to negotiate? The NCR backs off, we walk out of here, nobody gets hurt. And face NCR justice? No thanks. I'd rather not spend the next ten years doing hard labor. We'd try to bribe our way out, but seeing as how Benny didn't pay us yet, that won't happen. Right, and they'd probably give us all medals, too. Maybe I should kill a hostage because you wasted my time with this shit. Fine. Yeah, go on. I'm getting real tired of talking. Still... Getting real tired of talking. I'm getting real tired. 
Fuck Benny. We'll make him pay for stabbing us in the back. Evening. How are the negotiations with the Grey Khans going? Very well. Keep me updated. Welcome to the 188 Slopping Shop. Like our slogan says, <laughs> it's better than nothing. Samuel Kerr at your service. Me and my daughter Michelle run this fine establishment. We came here from Prim about a month past. Doesn't look like much, but it's one hell of a location. Michelle and I ran a little shop in Prim till a prison break north of town spoiled it for everyone. Goddamn convicts just about shut down I-15. When traffic dried up, we took to our heels to find us some customers. I'm not one to sit around waiting to get saved, and Michelle ain't neither. When 15 shut down, 95 became the route NCR citizens used to get to the Strip or limp back home after the strips drained them of caps. We get them coming and going. Coming 
The suckers flush with caps they saved to gamble on the strip. And going, the same folks. But now they're losers who will trade you the shirt off their backs so they don't starve before they make it back home. Add in the troopers marching back and forth from McCarran and the dam, and well, let's just say we don't miss Prim. No offense, but you look like you've traveled a long way down some bad roads. Where'd you come from? Yeah, guess the roads must have been long then if you forgot where you started from. Well, welcome then. I'm Veronica. I live in a hole in the ground. Well, a bunker, if you want to get technical. I think it sounds more interesting my way. But I'm not there much anymore. I'm usually out here picking up food and supplies for my family, whatever they need. Yeah, I'm not worried. They can handle themselves. But somebody has to get the groceries, know what I mean? And actually these days, I think they'd rather have me out here anyway. But that's a whole other story. So listen, can I ask you something on the level? I had a run-in with this group calling themselves the Brotherhood of Steel. Pretty strange bunch. Do you know anything about them? That's okay. I wouldn't expect anybody to. I think they tend to keep to themselves. Hey, so where are you headed anyway? Ooh, very exciting. Gonna strike it rich, huh? I'll be honest, you're the first person I've run across out here that looks like she can really handle herself. There are places I've never been to that'd be too dangerous for just me. What do you think? Maybe we could travel together, help each other out. Like I said, they can handle themselves. And I'm not the only one getting supplies for them. It's a big family. Oh, nowhere in particular, really. Just hoping to see more of the world, looking for a fresh perspective. I want to see how different groups have adapted to survive in the Mojave. See if there's something I can learn from. Hmm. Good. That's the look I was going for. Trust me on this one, though. You'll be glad you brought me along. If I turn out to be a burden, we can part ways at any time. No hard feelings. Now you're talking. One thing you should know first, though. I ask you about the Brotherhood because I'm one of them. I know, I know, but I had to know how you react when I told you. We have made a lot of enemies. You still okay bringing me along? I'm great at punching people. I'm not gonna lie. It's a gift. Well, thanks for taking a chance on a naive young girl from California with stars in her eyes and a pneumatic gauntlet on her hand. Let's hit the road, huh? What's up? Am I punching too much? I get carried away. Yeah, screw him. See you around.
You a merc? Because you don't look like a prospector. Hell yes, ma'am. Well, not officially. Not anymore. They mustered me out a year ago. Administrative discharge. It means my CO was an asshole and I told him to eat shit. He ordered me to flog a couple deserters. Those kids didn't desert. They just got liquored up on the strip and missed roll call. I don't know what else the brass expects. Half these kids don't get more than two weeks of training before they ship them out here. Going home didn't feel right. Not with those savages camped on the other side of the river sharpening their knives. And I still get to see my old platoon when they pass through here. Make sure the new CEO is treating them right, and sneak them extra ammo. Anyway, I was always complaining about the standard issue gear. The new kids don't even get body armor, can you believe that? So, I hooked up with a couple other vets. Bribed a gunrunner. Now we're supplying grunts, mercs, and anybody else on our side. We don't make much, but at least we're saving lives. Vegas is bleeding us dry. We're tossing caps at a hundred different problems, while Caesar bides his time and lets us wear ourselves out. This war is gonna bankrupt the NCR, unless we finish off the Legion fast and dirty. We shouldn't be perched up at the dam. We ought to be crossing the Colorado and sticking a boot up Caesar's ass. I'll be here a while yet, if you need any guns or ammo.